Hi, my name is Kendall, and I'm going to start writing reviews for The Bachelor. Um, this season we have Brad Womack, um, who is a returner from a couple of seasons ago. And um, I know I'm a little late coming on to this new blog thing, but I love The Bachelor so much. I never miss an episode, but I'm going to start doing this blogging thing. Um, I might do The Bachelorette um, unless I really... I don't really watch as much as The Bachelor because just The Bachelor is more interesting. But um, if it's if I like who's on The Bachelorette, then I'll obviously watch it. But anyways, I'll give you a review. Um, well, last night was when he sent Allie and Jackie home, and um, he took them to a cave in Hot Springs, I think. Um, I don't know if I'm right, but. He took Allie into the into the cave, and you know uh, it was romantic and stuff. But the, like they had a lot of shh, see stop. They had a lot of small talk and going on and everything, and um, it wasn't really going anywhere. And that's what Brad said. And then he sent home Jackie, but Jackie never really made an effort to talk to him. You know, like she did, but. I mean, not enough to feel chemistry, you know? Like, um, not enough to, like, you know, make him want her to stay. But, I mean, he did compliment her, saying she was an awesome woman, and, you know, and I thought she was pretty, but, um, I knew she was kind of wasn't going to be in the file, too. But then, I want to know why he has a mistake. Uh, sent Michelle home yet because personally I think she needs to go home and I don't know why he hasn't sent her home yet she tells him what to do how to feel who to send home and you know she just puts him on the spot a lot and just like makes him like gives him kind of like an ultimatum kind of thing like you can't you know I don't I don't know like the girls on this show are really emotional like every other one cries and I've never, I haven't seen that, you know, like last Bachelor with Jason. I don't remember him doing that. So, or any of the girls on there do, crying a lot. But that's, she's probably going to go home in the next two episodes, I think. Then for the final two, I'm going to make a prediction. And I don't know if it's right, but here it goes. Um, I think he's going to pick Chantal. I don't want him to, but, I mean, I, like, I feel it, but I don't want to believe it. Um, because him and Chantal have a, like, a good chemistry, like, but I really, I'm an Emily fan, and I've liked her since she's, from the start, but, I, she's, like, really, she, Emily brought a lot of bag, baggage, like, from her past, but who doesn't, and I don't know if Brad, like, is scared of that yet, or, you know, because Emily mentioned that a lot of guys, like, run away from her and, you know, after they hear that. And I hope Brad is, like, mature enough to take that, you know, next level that if he decides to be with Emily, he's going to be a stepfather to her child and, you know, hopefully be a father to her future ones. And I know he really cares about Emily because he pulls her aside every sing almost every single rose ceremony episode. And he, like... He even got her stuff, and it, she's just really, he shows he really cares, and I guess not a lot of, he doesn't do that to a lot of the other girls, he does, but he doesn't make it so obvious, like pulling them inside and stuff, and they're getting jealous, but I don't understand why they're getting jealous, because he's helping her, he's talking to her, it's not like he's, you know, I, I don't know, like giving her extra attention, I mean, He's giving her attention, but in a weird, like, he's giving her advice. He's try he shows he's caring, and he cares about her a lot, because, I mean, it obviously shows. And I want Emily to win, but the reason why I don't like Chantal is because Chantal hit uh, Brad in the first episode, which, you know, he deserved it, but, I, but it wasn't really necessary. It was a bad first impression, and I would have been turned off by it, but... And she cried, like, when Chantal is kind of near the rose ceremony, she always mentions, like, when she pulls him aside and stuff, she'll be like, 
if you pick this person, then send me help. And then, or if, um, or if you don't feel the same way, send me home. She said that last last week, and she I it said on the preview that it was going to be on next week, and actually no, and she said it last night too. So I'm tired of hearing that from her, and she needs to be confident about it. I know she has uh, feelings for him and everything, but she needs to be confident about like his feelings and how he's going to show it towards her. I mean, he doesn't she doesn't you know like choke him out of her or you know you know what I mean, but um. Ow. Like personally, for the um, next episode, she mentioned Chantal mentioned like pick me or if you between the girls and you can't even pick me or something. I don't exactly remember, but I can tell it's gonna be a good episode. And I saw that em he asked Emily like, "Are you ever gonna want me to meet your daughter?" And she said, "I don't know." I personally think they cut that out, but then I, you never know; it could be true. But I don't. I don't know. I think he's gonna end up meeting her in the like his daughter, her or her daughter in the season, hopefully. But you never know. But um, tune in next Tuesday for another blog by me. Um, and hopefully everything will go as planned. And let me know what you think. Bye.